It is Sunday, July 24th in the MLB, and this is Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we got our three best picks of the day. We got our favorite game pick. We got a K-prop, and we got a no one person name coming your guys' way. Let's finish this week out weekend out strong. And guys, just do us a real quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps us grow this channel. Austin and I can't do it without you guys' support. Yeah, we're trying to close in on 36,000. We really would appreciate it. Go take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button too. We certainly would appreciate it. Let's hop in a recap yesterday. Drank a little bit of juice, a two and two day. Brewers covering the run line pretty easily. Nerfy Nation, despite get well soon. Max Meyer, he did go down with the injury, still ended up getting us that no on first inning. Bo Bichette goes hitless. I'm going to have to retire at base props for a couple days. Although we might have a new segment alert for tomorrow. So stay on the lookout for that. And then the Angels. Yeah, I think Logan swore off betting the Angels, but you know what? It is what it is. I think a lot of people have sworn off betting the Angels. That team is just very suspect. But we do have one new All Star. If you want to support the channel, we certainly would appreciate it. We have Kai Valley rejoining the All Star group. We certainly do appreciate all our All Stars out there. Hit that join button on the channel. Only two dollars ninety nine cents a month. And with the NFL season coming around the corner, you guys definitely want to become an All Star. We also will have an Underdog Parlay. We are partnered with Underdog Fantasy. We'll have an Underdog Parlay pin in the pin comment section down below. Probably will post that within the next hour. So definitely check that out. Best part about underdog if you sign up using code cos or the link down below in the description get a hundred percent deposit match up to 100 bucks basically some free money to throw on some player prop parlays we're doing a lot of underdog especially when the nfl season and nba season roll around so definitely get locked in pretty early but logan i don't got anything else to say for the people what is your first play of the day yeah we're going to a team total over under and you're right uh, on what i said about the angels like i i promise guys they're in my graveyard i will not be betting them again for the rest of the year Swear on that. But today we're going to a team total, and it and it is a team total that that a lot of you might maybe disagree with, right? We're going to the Red Sox versus Blue Jays game. I'm taking the Red Sox team total over four and a half runs. Currently minus one ten odds on on BetMGM is your best value. As Austin's showing you right here, it's it is interesting though. I find it you know funny that DraftKings and FanDuel, two of the bigger books, do have it juiced on the over. So what do they know, right? The last time we picked a, a juiced, a, you know, a juiced like line reading on on Fanduel, it did treat us well uh, with, with the Cubs a couple of days ago. So kind of looking into this one, this line makes no sense to me for a team riding the struggle bus, right? You know, the Red Sox during their four game losing streak, they've only hit this uh, team total over in one out of you know those four games during the four game losing streak. And it was in the twenty eight to five blowout, which you know that's just garbage time. You know, run it up in garbage time. That's what the Red Sox did, but. Let's let's dive in and let's look at the over under today because it's set to 11. Turkeys will be tossed today. Now, what do I mean by that? Right. For an over under at, at Fenway, a non course field over under to be set to 11. There has to be some favorable weather conditions. Now, according to Ballpark Pal, plus 17 percent expected increase in runs today with wind blowing out of Fenway. Obviously, the wind has to be blowing out. So the conditions are right for some for some runs. Ten percent increase in home runs, 20 percent increase in extra base hits. So. The conditions are right for some runs to be scoring. Now, who are we going to have to score against? We're going to have to hit Ross Stripling, right? 3.18 ERA and a .97 whip on the road in nine, in nine road starts uh, this year. So you look at those numbers, and those are comfortable, right? Those are some comfortable you know, numbers for Stripling. Just mediocre, right? You know, Pretty decent, actually. And if you look at his two starts versus Boston, right? Two and one earned runs and two starts versus Boston this year. But... Worth noting, Red Sox hit their their team total over in both games that he started. So going over this line in both those games that that Stripling pitched, you know, with no Devers and potentially no JD Martinez today, the offense will have to come from somewhere today, right? The the books know who's probably going to be in and, and out. And to me, it just for them to set this line to four and a half, they got to know that these these Boston hitters are going to step up versus Stripling, right? And I pulled their splits. Xander Bogarts hit Stripling very well, five for eleven with a home run. Uh, Verdugo three for twelve with a home run. Dahlbeck two for eight with a home run. So you're noticing a, a trend in there, right? They've hit Stripling before, and they've hit Stripling, you know, for a home run. He's he's thrown some meatballs their way, right? In three out of Stripling's last four starts, Stripling has given up a home run. Hmm, makes you think. If we can get some runners on base and potentially get a, a multiple, you know, you know three-run home run, I would absolutely love that. That would go a long way to cashing this team total over. Boston is a good home team, right? Third in batting average and sixth in OPS at home. So they on season season wide, they've shown uh, the ability to hit Fenway Park. They know how to hit that that ballpark. And now, when Stripling does come out, is, will there be run opportunities? Like, yeah, absolutely. Toronto, nineteenth in bullpen ERA. Also worth noting, they they got some turkey tossers in that bullpen too, right? Six most and home runs allowed. 
I, I expect you know them to be able to get up a few runs on Stripling and maybe close out this team total in the bullpen. I'm taking Red Sox team total over four and a half. I do really like the bet today with the conditions. But Austin, what do you got for your pick today? Yeah, so you know, I said I swore off base props, and rightfully so. Those are going to be unpredictable. I might go to some hit parlays or maybe some new hit segment. Maybe you'll see tomorrow if you check out Monday's video. But today, going to the Rangers game, taking Martin Perez over four and a half strikeouts, minus 121 on Barstool Sportsbook. Now, we actually see a bunch of other books very juiced on the over, minus 146. I don't mind that. If you want to play like a player performance sub, I'm okay with that. Prize picks, I think, is sitting at five. I don't really know if I'd sit their lines over here, but I don't know if I'd necessarily take that. But let's talk about uh, why we like Perez today. Now, like I said, they're in Oakland taking on the Athletics today. And over his last 12 starts, Perez, five plus Ks in 10 of them, including nine in his most recent start right before the All-Star break. He did pitch in the All-Star game as he was an All-Star. Now, Perez had six strikeouts versus the Oakland Athletics earlier this season. So hitting this over, it wasn't necessarily like he had 12, but six will do the trick. And if you look at it, 15 of the last 25 starting pitchers versus Oakland have had five plus Ks. Now, not technically, if you were to go to stat and type in starting pitchers game log versus athletics, you might see that they're a little bit less than that. But I looked at guys that had actually like pitched again, like 18 to 20 batters space. I don't want to guys that are bullpen arms. So 15 of the last 25 to hit five plus Ks. Sign me up. Now the athletics, our team, that's likely going to start seven, I believe, right-handed batters, maybe one lefty, one switch hitter. I mean, this is a lefty, left-handed pitcher in Perez. So we want to see a lot of right-handed batters because Perez has a 21.3% K percentage versus right-handed batters, only an 18 versus lefties. Now that's like a minor, you know, little thing, but any any extra help does help. Any extra thing does help us here. And if you look at four of the starting uh, guys for the athletics today, they're going to have over a 30 or 29% strikeout percentage versus left-handed pitchers. Like I said, Perez is a lefty. Only two batters are below 20%. They got a lot of guys that have really struggled versus left-handed pitchers, and I think Perez can get it done. He's not necessarily a guy that's going to go out there. I mean, he did have nine Ks in the most recent start, but he's not normally a guy that's going to you know bring up those double-digit close to that strikeouts. But asking him to get five is not asking for a whole lot today. The last lefty to face the Athletics was Tariq Skubal right after the All-Star break. And he did strike out nine, holding them, I believe, hitless through about four or five innings. So I think Perez, I think he's certainly capable of getting it done. Five Ks, not asking for a crazy number. He's hit that in 10 of his last 12 starts. I really do think he has a good chance of getting it done today. So I'll be riding with Perez. That's my pick of the day. Over four and a half strikeouts. I believe it's a 4 p.m. start time. But, Logan, grab those flags because you know what time it is. It's Narpy Nation time. That's why everyone comes. And we got a great pick today. Yesterday was pretty much a no sweat bet minus, you know, Losing our starting pitcher to an injury. But today, guess what we're doing, Logan? We're running it back. We're going Marlins Pirates. No one for staying minus 125 on Caesar. So you see here, we got, you know, a couple different books. Ju- juice to DraftKings. Now, I do have to say Fandle's not noted here. Fandle's line is comical for this one. It's like minus 190. So please don't take it on Fandle. I don't know why Fandle's so juiced. Fandle even had the tie at better odds than the Nerfie. That made no sense. But let's talk about why we like this one a lot. Now, Mitch Keller's on the mound, and he's been pitching pretty well over his last couple starts. You know, he is 11-7 and seven on no one first inning. So, you know, not the best uh, best stats, but he did Nerfie in his last start against the Rockies. So, in course field. So, that's pretty impressive. He's really kind of coming in with better stuff than he was earlier this season. And he's already Nerfied versus Miami Marlins team. And like we talked about yesterday, Marlins, 29th in first inning runs. This is a team that's really been struggling to score, score, just get anyone on base and score runs. Obviously, still missing Jazz Chisholm and John Birdie. So they're really going to struggle to score here. I like Mr. Keller to get us his first three outs. What about the next guy, Logan? I heard he's pretty good. Oh, yeah. He's he's one of the best in the league, right? Sandy Alcantara, 16 and three on Nerfies this year. He's been really solid. And right, Pittsburgh, really back of the pack offense, right? I could pull all their numbers if I wanted, but the most important number here, right? 28th and first inning runs. They usually aren't scoring, you know, early. And look at look at what happened yesterday. <laughs> Pittsburgh, that was a classic Marlins Pirates game. One they won one to nothing yesterday. I mean, wolf. The the over under set seven and a half. I mean, to me, that's even a little bit high considering, you know, what we've seen from Alcantara. So really at the end of the day, I, I love this one. We have to take it. We have to run it back. We normally don't like running nerfies back because we understand, you know randomness happens but with with these two offenses that have been just really struggling to get you know any consistent you know, hitting and scoring going we're we're definitely riding this one and if i think if if there's anything that's gonna like blow up the nerfy it's probably gonna be the marlin scoring but you know what we got to take our chances like if it's if it's as one-sided as that 
yeah, let's, let's fly the flags. Let's, let's get a Nerfy Nation. Yeah, we got no choice. So we're going to fly these flags again for the third time post-All-Star break. We appreciate you guys. Those are our three favorite picks. Like I said earlier today, Underdog Fantasy Parlay will be down below in the pinned comments. So definitely check that out. We cashed a couple of those a couple weeks ago. So definitely check it out. Use code COS to sign up for 100% deposit match. I'll have a great Sunday, great rest of the weekend. We'll see you guys same spot, same place tomorrow morning, Monday morning. We'll see you guys then.